How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan's MRE. Today we are doing a Belarusian ration. This was sent to us by a viewer. He also has a YouTube channel. I'll put that in the description. Go check it out. This is a very interesting ration. I've not done these before. So let's hop into it right now. All right guys, so this is a 24 hour ration. Let's go and open it up here and take a look. So we have the spreadsheet. Maybe we'll translate out here. We set it to Belarusian and not Russian. We have pate, ham, I don't know what flying is. It only translates so good. Peanuts, cookies, toffees, measly, measly bar, coffee, sugar, chocolate bar, condensed milk, matches, napkins, and wipes. So let's see here what we got. And to start off with, we have, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We have the tank tracks. We have some crackers or biscuits as you will. We have some fruit soup. You see this in a lot of the European rations. Fruit soup's a big thing. We have looks to be It says strawberry, like a strawberry tea maybe? I don't know, we'll investigate here in a second. Here we have some, it feels like wet wipes, strawberry scented possibly. Here we have a little thing of canned ham. I don't know, interesting, interesting. We have a chocolate wafer bar. We have a very large package of sweetened condensed milk. We have our little chocolate bar. We have a fruit bar, granola bar, as you will. This thing does not do well with cursive writing. Here we have matches, one proof, waterproof matches. I don't know, it definitely leaves something to be desired. Ministry of Defense. I think this is going to be sugar. Some arrangement. Actually, very well could be coffee. That's coffee. We have our Esbit stove. And you see a lot of these in uh, Czech rations. These are like little crisp, as you might say. And it looks like they might have some onions <laughs> onions on them. It's hard to tell with just a picture of what's going on. This is wheat crisp. Hopefully not onion, but they might be. We have a couple little candies. Here we have it's kind of interesting the way it's packed. Got some napkins. we have our silverware, or in this case, our woodware. It's all wooden. Very interesting. That's right, some kasha. Let's see if we could translate what kind of kasha this is. Beef kasha. Saw it flash up on there. More kasha. Canned meat. Coral barley. Interesting. Hmm. Some kind of sticked meat. Oh, let's have to open up and see. It's a very large ration overall. It should be pretty good. Like I said, it's kind of a new territory for me. I've never done a Belarusian ration. It is similar to the Russian stuff we get though, uh, but with definitely a little bit of a twist. Let's go ahead and get onto the tray and see what we got. All right, so we got everything kind of trayed up here. Let's get this stuff on the hot plate first. And this said meat sticks. I'm not sure if that even translated right. Let's see. We wipe the tops of these off so you don't get some kind of AIDS or anything. 
And essentially, it looks like we what we call tashanka, which is chunks of meat uh, packed in grease. And it smells good. It smells a little bit different. Phillips here, the camera guy. Let's have him take a whiff of that and get some new smell. This smells like almost like beef and gravy kind of right. thing. The kasha's next. It's like some standard kasha. We have our other stuff here. That's the buckwheat. And here's our pearl barley one. So let's go ahead and put these on a hot plate, heat these up. We'll be right back. Okay, so that stuff's heating up. Let's do a couple things here. Let's grab our mug to start with. Let's do our coffee. I feel if we grab the water for us in the kettle. We pre-did that. I've never had this brand before. Should be interesting. You got Terry Nosh with us right in the middle. It's all right. And with freeze-dried coffee, you always got to take a little look-see. And this stuff looks really good. Let Philip pour that in there for us. The only thing we don't know what it is, is this. Translator is not doing it justice. Is it measly? Is it something else? This is... Well, boys, I really don't know. It's like some, it's like some fish food. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So this is actually a lemon herbal drink. Um, very interesting. I've not seen this. There's not a whole lot of stuff that I could open up and not know what it is. This is one of them. 250 mil. So we'll let Philip grab the hot water and blast some hot water to that. We'll set our coffee back out of the way. Maybe back up here. Keep it all lined up. And then while he's doing that, I'm going to open up the fruit soup. The fruit soup is right here. We not have a tear notch. No. Nope. We'll do it with the knife either. That's right there. I had no paper towel. What does it smell like? Tea? In a way. Lemon tea? Yeah. I'll take you a smell. You smell lemon. Yeah. Yep. All right, the fruit soup. This was 300 and. I'm not sure, 380. This turns to like a gel. I think it's 380 mil. This is cherry. And we got enough hot water to put 380 mil in this. Let me zip the top closed on this. Get that a little shake a shake a Okay, we'll get some more water, it's no problem. In one second, we'll let him do that. We're gonna keep going here and get everything else summed up. So I think, I'll set that off to the side just for the time being. Let's go ahead and open up this. It feels like uh, wet naps, even though it has a picture of strawberry on it. Oh, buddy, what's going on here? It's like it's the first MRE I've ever done. So yeah, this is a whole package of wet naps. Look at that. A whole bunch of them. I'll take one out here. We'll cram the rest of those back in the bag. So you might need those for us over with. And let's take a smell. It smell like strawberries? Um, I mean, not really. They don't really smell like much of anything, but it's those nice cloth-like, cloth-like napkins. And that's what you need for things like this, I suppose. Next up is our cold drink. We have a glass right here. There's a tear notch up here. A mil, you could scan over it 175 mil ish, maybe. Oh, 
All right. Got a bottle of water right here. Let's mix that up. It does kind of have a milky consistency to it. We'll stir with our wooden spoon here. That up there. Um, we start waiting on that. I think we're pretty much ready. We we'll back here. Let's check our mains. Let's check everything, and we'll get her done up. All right. We'll let Philip go ahead and fill up that. Roughly 380 mil. And then I'm curious. A couple things. Give us another little shake. Our mains are pretty much done. We have. A little hole which is causing all this crumbs in our little bread here so while we're here let's go ahead and flay this open and a lot of times this happens in shipping when you have heavy cans it's just such a fragile plastic it's hard to cut or hard to do anything with we'll rip it open because we're going to put that in a ziploc and these crisp are very good with any kind of pate in our case, our deviled ham. A lot of our mains are on the verge of being done. They're not done just yet. Let's open up our ham here and see. It doesn't look like much. It never does. Um, it kind of has a, a bouillon type, almost like a beefy smell, but it's ham. And let's sit that down here. Let's grab a crisp bread. This package is still all mangled up. There's one for you, Philip. We're gonna make you, he's never had anything out of the ordinary, so we're gonna put him through the ringer. Does it smell all right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out. Let's use our knife to scoop this out because we might use that spoon to stir something again. Actually use a spoon to stir that. We'll use that for all the drinks. And that should, once it cools down, it should get um, like thick. It looks like it's already getting thick, huh? Like paste in the bottom. There's a piece of that. Fill up the slab over here. I might be more in a mouthful, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'll drop some of those on the ground. Just set it off the side or something for right now. Here, here's a napkin. Did you get any of it? You want some more of it? Yeah, I got some. See, it's just really mild. And you see that with a lot of European rations and a lot of the Russian stuff too. It's not overly seasoned. There's nothing ever weird about it. Yeah. It's just very mild. It's just like yeah. regular food. Right. So when you're out working and doing military stuff. That spoon is so weird since it's wooden. Hopefully it wasn't too much water. It shouldn't have been though, that's what it said on the side. Look at that over there. And it's just a, well it's not to the camera here. It's just like a ground ham. A little overexposed. I'll let him crank it down just a little bit. There you go. Maybe you can see it here. We'll get it close in. It's um, just so mild. It's not tough. It's not weird. It's not full of garlic or anything. It's just almost like a pate, I would say. Minus the liver. You know, just like a ground ham. Okay. Let's move on. Let's grab the mains off of there. Let's get them over here. Okay. So we got all our mains done. We got the other two off to the side. Let's go ahead and try the beef first. I feel it's about to get his first taste. Grab you a, grab you a utensil. So this is what we call uh, Tashanka, essentially. It has a bay leaf in it. And they 
pretty much the only seasoning you put on this is uh, bay leaf, salt, and pepper. And they always brown it in a skillet or however they brown it before they put it in the can. That's good. So it's just like, essentially like roast, huh? Right, yeah, it's like roast. It looks hot. Nothing wrong with that. We've got the the salt ratio right in it. Of course, it's not weird at all. But whenever this cools off, it's going to be all grease. Yeah. Like it was in the can before. Okay. So, next we got this. This is the... The beef porridge essentially buckwheat i think it's buckwheat a little bit on the dry side well, a lot of guys will do they'll take some of the the broth from that beef and put it in here essentially it's not much different on taste Philip, you going to taste this or no It's always like a, a beef and rice type situation. The same way. Slightly salty. Yeah. Beef, there's not really anything not to like about it. Yeah. And if you don't have this for a while, like I was doing all those Russian rations, this is coming all of them. And um, I guess we're getting used to, but then you're like, man, I wish I had some of that. Uh, yep. culture. All right. Now. This one's still hot. But it's starting to cool off, get greasy. Actually, this might as be very greasy. Well, this had... This is essentially meat and uh, pearl barley, which is almost like... Uh, it's like rice, kind of, but it's barley. You know what barley is. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. That's a very... That's a lot richer taste to it. I'll try this and wipe my shirt off since apparently... Uh, apparently I have a problem with dropping stuff. You want to try that one or not? Why not? It just like the, the grease content's a lot more in it, which isn't really a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But everything's similar, right? So let me see here. Get a piece of fuzz on the spoon or on the fork. Let's stir this guy up again. And we'll try this. Yeah. All right, so we're all set up here. Um. Let's go ahead and I just stirred this while ago. Let's pour Philip some of this in his glass here. Get about half of it. Oh, a little more half. It's all right. I'll take a drink. This is a strawberry drink. It's like Kool Aid. Yeah. In more, way, almost way. more sugar. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not great. It's kind of okay. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's something different. Yeah. <clears throat> it's nice to have stuff that's not full of high fructose corn syrup. That's true. And everything here well is. Let's move on to the fruit soup. It's starting to get a little bit thick. Let Philip get his other cup here. This is so big in Europe. I just can't see. I don't really fully understand, to be honest, the attraction to it. You can see it getting a little bit thicker. It's probably hot as hell. The smell of it's a little it bit. Like... It was cherry, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you smell cherry. I mean, it's just kind of like cherry, thick cherry sugar water. Kind of reminds me of a uh, medicine, like cough syrup in a way. Oh, Robitussin. A little bit. Let's have a little Robitussin kind of backdrop to it 
a little bit tart. Yeah, a little thick. Yep. And, uh, you know, it kind of is what it is. The tank tracks. Tank tracks are up next. These things. I've had a hundred of these. We'll let Philip try these. They're so tough, even the package is hard to get open. Don't bite it with your front teeth. Because no, it's gonna break. Yeah, break it in half once to see. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it. Use your side to just nibble a corner of it off. They give these in a lot of the, like the Polish rations always have them. I mean, these are a little more toasted than usual. They're not good by any means, but I feel like if you're out somewhere and you put some pate on there, you probably break a tooth off and have to like <laughs> have some kind of emergency dental work or something crazy. So that's that. We got to try this tea. That kind of smells like medicine too, to be honest with you. We'll let, we'll let Philip try it. It's hot though. Be careful. Burn your face off. Take a little sip out of there. You, you can't see color. No. Yeah. We'll just color a tea. Lemon. It is kind of like a Ricola cough drop kind of smell to it. Right. Careful, it's really hot. Yeah, I know. The cool cough drop. That's right. Get any kind of mouth mouth aids it's or anything? Uh, no. Oh, it's, I do. It's a uh, lemon. What does that taste like? It's very familiar, isn't it? That's a, that's interesting. I can't say it's, it's not bad. It's very, it's kind of mild. It does kind of have that, that herbal medicine kind of effect yeah. to it. But see now why they don't give you a lot. I mean, by the time you drank that, you'd be like, okay, we're done with that for yeah. today. But probably health benefit wise, it's probably pretty decent for you. Um, here's all the wet naps. I was hoarding those from you all ago. It's like a whole package of them. Sure and is. let's break open this. And we have these biscuits, essentially. Yeah, it says strawberry, but I don't think it's strawberry, do you? Yeah, so I wonder if these are all broken up. No, they're not. These actually look really good. Yeah. There you go. So, I think a smell. It's essentially a cookie. Mm -hmm. It's very semi-sweet. It's not anything crazy. It's not over the top. We're gonna have to do now though. I never seen a package of sweet condensed milk quite that big. That's a lot, right? We have a a mill on this, a speck of how much that is exactly. Two hundred and thirty. Let's go ahead and crank this open. First thing you always do is take a smell of it. it smells like totally fine. So we can't make a huge mess. <clears throat> you can put this in coffee. A lot of guys eat it right on crackers. If you never had sweet condensed milk, essentially it's basically like straight sugar. Extra goes really good with the crackers. It's really nice and mild. This one's not quite as sweet. Let him try that and see what he thinks. Put the cat back on that bad boy for we have some kind of 
terrible accident. Mm -hmm. Yep. <coughs> I choked to death here. A lot of guys do they put it in their coffee as, as a sweetener. That would be good for coffee, I think. Tea is the same way. <clears throat> Man. All right, Phil, you want to taste the coffee and see how that tastes? You know, Nathan doesn't like coffee too much. Now, I've had to taste it in every video. It's good coffee. So is it bitter? Is it weird? Is it... Oh, I, I drink black coffee, so I'm not really... I mean, it's not, it's kind of tastes like coffee. Is it on the mild side or on the... Some of this stuff is so dark, it's just... You know, super ultra bitter. No, it's not too bitter. Okay. Not if you need sugar or anything, but there's that. Whatever you, whatever you want to do with that. Let's go to our dessert section here. Overall, I would say everything's pretty dang good. Yeah. I was surprised with the meat and the quality of it. Yeah. I mean, a lot of our Russian rations, the meat's always really good. I keep comparing that to this because it is very similar. This wafer, chocolate wafer bar here. I'm going to open this up, break a piece off. Jeez, maybe. Is it bloomed up? No, it's not, but it's broken. Kind of got to expect a little bit of that because it looks like pretty soft. It's not what I thought it was going to be. There we go. Now, with any kind of European chocolate, you always taste that powdered milk kind of background taste to it. Every every bit is like that. And with the American chocolate, you don't get that. You taste a little bit on there. It's just not as sweet as stuff we get here. It's just not. Yeah. It's not bad. It's, uh, I was surprised on how it's not soft, but it's so fluffy. Yeah, the wafer. Yeah, the wafer is really nice. It's not crispy and hard. So this is like a granola bar, a fruit bar, as you will. Muesli bar, I guess would be the proper name for it. I'm going to flip it over so you can see how it's like. All right. Snap a piece of it off. Definitely got some... Uh, well, there's a cross cut of it. Got some fruit stuck in it. I'm not sure, maybe some caramel. It's not very crunchy. A lot of times fruit bars are like that. You can tell it's more on the healthy side. Mm -hmm. It's just straight up a little Debbie or anything. All right. Next up, our chocolate bar. It's almost like a, like a fudge bar, I guess. It's kind of like fudge. It's real sugary, almost kind of chewy. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. We're going to leave the candies till the end. We're going to eat some of this stuff. We don't want that in our mouth. They give you two little candies with it. I would say, what's your final thoughts, Philip? Is it, is it better than the tuna extravaganza and the Israel, Israeli ration? Is it better than that? This is more like real food, I guess. Yeah, I would say it's more similar to our food, traditionally. It all depends on what you're used to in life, but I think our palates relate more to this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
than to straight out tune. I mean, tune all the time, but right. deed only for a mill more than once. Mm, I don't know. But that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be all for the Belarusian ration. What a awesome, awesome ration. I'll put his uh, YouTube in the description. That's going to be it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.